Do you understand the magnitude of this? Of course not. Your brain is slow and it takes a while to process. So let me spoon feed you something. So I thought I'd do a video that's a bit different. It's just me walking across Monster Hunter World, the different maps, because there's been many different videos that recently, or <laughs> articles, you know, back in when Fallout 4 came out, for instance, there were like a hundred articles saying like, oh, this guy walked across the map and, and it took him only like four hours or, or something stupid and people judge purely based on that fact and that fact alone that there was only so much. If you, if you don't like listening to me, you can just mute the video in the bottom right corner and just watch me literally walk across the map if you really want but i thought i'd do that video and you know just kind of show you what's in monster hunter world even though they didn't look at what he encountered or anything which is just kind of a slight bit step up from that completely baffling concept of you know figuring out what's actually in a game and makes it um deemed like what is and isn't content is deemed by like how long you spend walking around in it like an empty field which i'd say just lessens how much there is in each part of or segment in the level or game or whatever but you know let's let's not think about that too hard as you can see i'm using the scale flies to kind of show my direction because i'm going to be walking from one corner of the map to the other and the, you should be gathering a lot of herbs because I, you can use that to heal yourself and build med. Sorry, what am I doing? I'm, I'm actually telling you mechanics about the cane that will actually help you to understand what's what mechanics and features there are to, to understand how, how much actual quality there is to the game. You, you, don't, you don't want that. You just want to know how far, how long it takes to get across the map because that, you know what's actually in the map doesn't matter. Quality versus quantity doesn't matter. It's just, quality doesn't matter. It's just about quantity. So yeah, you, you have to gather a lot of things. This is obviously on a time lapse because this would be like fucking forty minutes long or so, or, or over. If um if I was just to cut out the loading times and just have me literally walk across the map, and no one wants to see that. But yes, I I am I am still working on animation, so I might be stiff on content or dry on content for a bit. So I'll upload this as I'm doing those, which I guess kind can kind of serve as a bit of a update video or whatever would be kind of a bizarre one or i'm just talking mad shit while it's playing out i do have a new pc coming on the way so hopefully the channel and the contents held within will you know greatly increase with that so i am keen on that um i don't i don't want to speak too soon for that i i don't want to you know i i am reflecting on my channel and how i'm going to handle that so i'll you know things will change some some things will be dropped some things will be added and changed up it won't be like a complete redo but i don't want to talk about too much what i'm going to do with the dropped content you know i won't delete videos that are already up i'll keep that on the channel because you will know what i don't know if you love it or not but i wish you did but <laughs> i want to keep myself a little more um focused fine-tuned to a specific crowd so you know my my content anyway not the um how i behave inside of them i'm gonna let that be free-flowing and crazy everywhere as as you all know your boy skinny penis to be <clears throat> all right we're ending up to the end point here we can you can actually find the cat gangs oh sorry i'm i don't i don't want to tell you about how to join the cat gangs or whatever. I, I keep i keep trying to you know give you actual advice in the game that can actually help you but you know you you find the camp here, um, you can meet the cat gangs here, and we are gonna delve into other maps, you know, um, because there's more than one map in Mozana World. I wouldn't even call Mozana World open world, it's just, um, yeah, when you go on missions, the level structure is a bit more open than the Lost Games, because they, they, all they did from Lost Games is really cut out the loading screens. Oh, sorry, I, I keep talking about the game. <laughs> the, the videos where they just walk across the map never I can talk about it. I'm, I'm so stupid. How could I be so stupid? How could I degrade my content to the actual meaningful chats? This one, this map I know well enough that I can just walk straight between the points. I love the, um, the, the toads. They just paralyze the fucking monsters stiff. They just completely fuck them up. I mean, some of them, like the Elder Dragons and shit, you can't do that, but pretty much everything gets fucked over by those goddamn tiny stupid frogs. This game's so goofy and just anime. <laughs> I like how my little cat's like a fucking hell gangstery horror monster dude. <laughs> oh man, I fucking love Monster Hunter. Yeah, this is the uh, invincibility, invincibility mantle. Um, I don't know how this will actually go. I might have had it removed. It, it essentially just dodges for you when you get attacked. It's fucking pretty nice. But yeah, I've, I've finished Mons uh, fuck, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I was going to make an LP for that because I love my co-op 
LP, as you all know that. Sadly, because of technical issues, I'm not entirely sure how that will play out. I might just do it like the late half of the game, which I'm thinking I'll do just because I have a blast with it. Although that's not a proper LP and I know it will get flack for it, so I'm, I'm hesitant to do it. But I do this channel, I do this stuff because I, I enjoy it, I like it, so I'm, I'm going to still do it anyway. And I hope y'all don't have too much issues with that, with me being me and doing my thing. My thing, my way. I can't wait for the Iceborne DLC. This, these, I don't know if I'll do these later on with other games. I don't know how much fun I'll actually have doing it and, you know, just, um how I was received and shit, so I don't know if I'll make another one of these stupid things where I'm just like, here you can find a bunch of vines to walk up, you know, or here you can find a Final Fantasy. These Final Fantasies are capturable. You know, like, I, I don't, and then again, I don't want to detail the environment because the environment, you know, telling you stuff there is actually telling you how much time you, or how much content is actually in the map and how much time you'll spend using it, so that's actually relevant information. Again, i got to give you useless data, because that's what you're here for, that's what you're after, because every minute equals a dollar worth of content. I mean, this game, it's like, it, you'll spend like 300, to like 180 to 300 hours, roughly, and it's like, fucking, it's not even $60 full now. I mean, the DLC will be, but that's DLC, so. Me being me, I got a, um, big ass comic book too now so I've, I've been reading through that that's also going to be taking up my time slowing it down i am also you know a lot of videos that i think of i don't actually make i just kind of plan them out you know and i'm like oh this will be so cool this will be so fun you know i'll have a blast with this and i'll be able to explore my goofy side and make plenty of jokes and you know do all this but you know I, it just ends out being nothing more than a a thought, you know, so, um, you know, there, there's going to be a bit of back and forth thing with that. My animation channel is, is something I'm starting to, you know, realize that it's quite cringy and I'm not proud of it. So I, I do want to keep working on it, though, because I do want to make something entertaining that will please everyone as well as, you know, that I find fun. And I do enjoy making animation, so I still want to stick at it to that. But I haven't had enough thoughts and feelings on the recent Marvel game that I thought about making a review. But at the same time, I don't like making reviews, honestly. I don't get any fun out of it. It's just too much controversy, too much hate for me, too, too much backlash. You know, opinions is, just seem to bring out the worst in people nowadays. It's almost like you have to have a trigger. Like, I, I know fucking it's a joke, but like fucking, it's almost like you need a trigger warning every time you do a fucking review or something or you you know you share opinions because it's just this circle this infinite circle of like fucking outrage or hatred that's just spewing over and over again between people and because I, I know um fuck what was that youtuber they, they they talked about pretty much the same thing was a red letter media there that's right in their recent well and again it probably won't be recent by the time i upload it because like, i don't know i don't know how long this will take because I've been taking my time with it, <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny, so, you know, well, I shouldn't actually explain too much of, I don't, I don't ever want to confirm that I, or say, like, I'm working on this or making this, because then I, I say, you know, I, I kind of make that, um, connection that, that people then expect it to come out and they get mad when it doesn't, or annoyed or whatever, and I just want them to be happy when it does, but at the same time, without the hype and people... You know, when it comes out, they might just be like, what's this? And you're like, you know, you're like, not even know it exists or not check it out. So there's a bit of concern that I am worried about how to signal boost my channel, you know, grow my channel. I, I've been branching out or like talking to people to see if I can get like, do, do, um, collaborations. But at the same time, my channel's so small that probably no one would want to do one. So that, that's another problem. Anyway, we're approaching the final bit of the map here. You can see fountains. It, this place looks gorgeous, this place. It sucks to navigate through, as you may have noticed. I mean, you may not have noticed because I'm walking in a straight line. I'm not actually navigating it or telling you how the missions play out. Some of them are which are pretty annoying uh, shit, which, you know, my friend's kind of experiencing now just how bad it is. Just because it throws you into the map and it's just like, find out what to do and where to go. <laughs> it doesn't give you any hints or ideas or, you know, scout flies or anything. It's just like, no, fuck you, do it whenever you get to a new area. And this one was th is definitely the worst one because this is just an absolutely awkward mess to walk through. 
Um, this one now being the elder recess, I like it the most because it's the exact opposite, where it's pretty much just a straight line to and fro where you're going. And I love that. There is obviously multiple branching pathways, but is is a one of the hardest maps to get lost in it also seems kind of small compared to the others even though it's actually not it's just mostly areas that can just like big areas i love the map because of it even though it's actually like one of the smallest map i like it spe specifically because it's so small <laughs> you know like it's it's just such a great place to fight all the big monsters in and generally you will be facing all the big serious monsters like the behemoth and shit in there or like the the arch tempered lunastra arch tempered was I'm, I'm probably going to end up having to cut one of these audio lines like halfway through just because it's you, you know i'm just going to be chatting off like crazy whatever the fuck i want in this video because it, it's like one of the least relevant videos ever bullet break headlines probably not because someone's probably already made the video and it's it's probably way past the time to be relevant but it's just it's great you, you see many plants in, in in the time that i walk through these Caverns. I want to. I just wanted to have the fun of like making one of these videos. See, see how fun it is. And, and I can do this quite a bit. You know, like I can. I can do these videos. They're not too bad. You know, it just lets me ramble on about bullshit. People can just mute it. What you know, some some people do get a kick at just watching time lapse of someone running through the map. I, I get that. You know, it's, it can be satisfying. I, I do like watching some time lapse of things happen, even if they're nothing important. It just it's. It's just satisfying. I, I can't really explain it any better than just seeing it satisfying to see things change rapidly, you know, and having some sort of consistency in the photo, which I guess in this case would only be me and the cat, maybe, or maybe even the HUD. <laughs> but like, who's staring at the HUD, right? There's probably someone staring at the HUD now that I say that, but whatever. It's a great game though. I, I know this this one, like I cut it down to fucking 10 minutes, even though it's gonna be 40 minutes. But um, yeah, l let me know if you think this is good. I'll, I'll probably judge it off how many people actually end up viewing this and clicking on this. I don't know what stupid thumbnail I'll get. I'll just get like a transparent fucking image of some guy walking over the map or, or something stupid. Cause I have got a, a few bits of feedback that I will be um, revising. Again, I don't want to talk too much about my channel at the same time as wanting to because I don't want to build um, deadlines for myself or anything that I probably won't end up even hitting and I don't want to let people down. I just want to lift people up, if that makes sense. I hope you all enjoyed. I, I hope you all come to like this video, this style of video. I certainly enjoyed making it, even though it was quite an easy one to make. I don't know if I'll decide to make others, but I, there's tons of different games that I can do this for, if it's something that I decide to make into some bizarre, stupid series for whatever reason. I did get told, you know, I should stop making so many different seasons, and I will take that into consideration, but if I want to make a series that I find fun to do, then I'm just gonna fucking do it, to be honest. I don't give a shit, so I will try to focus my crowd a bit more. I won't stop myself from making content that I want to make, you know? I'm just not gonna let that happen. Suicide.